Up next, consistency is their goal. They want to win each half, each quarter, each possession. Coming right up. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Now the starting group for the visitors. Clark, the assist numbers from these teams, just wow. They are always looking to make that extra pass. And you know, that kind of mentality, B.A., is contagious. It really goes a long way. Everybody buying in to not just getting a good shot, but going from good to better to best shot. Defended by Jones. And he converts the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Who poked away. Stolen by Jones. And here comes the break. And that one drops for him. I like the fact he had his head up immediately looking to make the dish down the floor. Get rid of it quickly. Here's Vildoza. 17 points in his last outing. A team foul. Number six. First personal foul. First team foul. Defended by Jones. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Off target from outside. Down low. Here's Jones. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. With the fadeaway. Rebound by Ogilvy. Gone two of three from the floor. To the left wing. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Elbow shot. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. For Athens, they've gone one for three so far. Driving inside. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Two shots. And he sinks the second. The visitors with the ball. And when you look at it, that shooting percentage is an ugly one. Anytime you see it in the lower 30s, you know it's probably a rough night. Yeah, I can't name a team that's going to find a way to win shooting like that. I mean, they never had a chance with the touch they had that night. To the inside. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Ojale. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Stripped it away. Outside Jones. Can't get it to fall. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Floats one, and he lays it up and in. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And the miss. Not the best shot selection there. For Athens, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. And that makes it three for four. He's looking good. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Both teams will make substitutions. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. 
Pass to Harper. Driving to the basket. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Hernan Gomez with it. Grant outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's the three. A rebound by Ogilvy. Shooting 33% in the first quarter. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he was kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Checking in for Athens. Atatakumba. Bill Doza. 24 seconds left now in the first quarter. Atatakumbo covering. Doesn't go for him. Here's Vildoza. Yet to see a basket. Inside. Grant outside. This one for three. No good on the buzzer beater. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. They lead by three. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. And so Grant will bring it up for Athens. It's a three-point game. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Grant with it. Hey, puts up a three. Jones grabs the board. Here's Jovic. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. On a Kumpo for three. That shot, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Out to the wing. Pass to Jovic. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. For Athens, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. And he's going for the lob! And the jam by Anna Kumpo. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. For Athens, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Here's Grant. No good with a layup. Gotten three of four field goals in the second quarter. To the paint. Oh, nice fake with the layups off the mark. Athens shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Pass to Vildoza. Six to shoot. With some arc. And he sinks the layup. Showing off with the motor game. Not a shot you can spot. Let's look back on this past month and see the teams who were lights out from three-point range. I tell you what, when you have a month like this, the way they've been shooting it, you feel like the basket is three times as big as normal. I mean, it's hard to maintain this level of productivity, but we'll see if they can make it happen. Ojale, no good. For Athens, they've got just two of six field goals to go in the second. Knocks it loose. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. 
high arcing shot. And the layup is up and in. Shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Going inside. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Both good from the line that time. A minute 22 left to play in the second quarter. Tipped away. To the middle. Shot is up. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three ball to go. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Add that to his line. Now three for six. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. Yeah, these teams have swapped leads seven times already. We're not even in the second half. Uses the glass on the layup. Five points in the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet, but something to keep an eye on. So both teams making some changes here. 20 seconds left in the first half. Away team foul. Jones. First personal foul. Second team foul. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. 12 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Jones' his shot is good. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Up one. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Welcome, everybody. In the thick of the season now, these five rookies have really stood out to me. And we'll be talking about these guys for a long time. They're losing the battle on the boards, getting muscled out. If you don't control the paint, your fried chicken. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to the barbecue? Good night. That's it for us. Thanks for two. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Shooting a solid 47%. All right, time for an injury report. And unfortunately, this could be a season-altering injury. It is a major loss right in the thick of the season. Other guys will have to step up. Let's see who answers the call. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. The layup is good off the glass. Give him eight points now. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. And there's the turnover. Pass goes out of bounds. On Monday, then on Wednesday.
the inbound. No good. Athens shooting about 47%. A nice number. Pass to Vildoza. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Five to shoot. Drills it from deep. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And these are the top rebounders in the league. Well, you look at Hernan Gomez. Third in rebounding. A force down low. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. Gone just one of three in the second half. Jones drives in. Blocked! One-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Oh, I love watching him flush it home. Showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. Second personal foul. First team foul. The visitors with the ball. Trailing by four. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Good on the bucket. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. 143 left in the third. Good idea time to out, call time timeout. Out. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. Jovic, he's checked in for Jones. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Davies. First person foul. Got just two of six in the second half. And that one's good. Jovic. Jovic has got seven points in the game. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. Fires the three. And no good. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. Boy, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. To the inside. Here's Ogilvy. Basket's good. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. The runner. Count that one. Nine points in the game. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Good on the shot. For Athens, they've gone six for nine in the half. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. Inside. From eight feet away. And no good trying to use the glass. And we've watched three so far in this one. Up five. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. Let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On! Target from range. Shooting about 47%. A nice number. Floats one up. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And he makes a first. Jones at the line for two. He makes one or two that time. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebound. Pass to Bildoza. Jacks up a three. No good that time. That one, no good. Athens shooting around 53%. A nice number. Grant the pass to Ananakumpo. Grant outside. Three-pointer. The shot no good. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. That's tipped and stolen by Ana de Cupo. Down low. Second shot opportunity. Can't get the layup. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. And he banks in the layup. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. The head coach for Athens had some instructions for his guys during the break. He told his guys to stay after it, to not get complacent and lazy with this lead. He wants them to keep adding to it. We'll see if they're able to do it, guys. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Jones grabs the board. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Can't connect from short range. Pass to Hernan Gomez. He tries for three. Another shot. Here's Vildoza. To the middle. They shoot again. And he takes it up and lays it in. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. One forty-three left in the fourth. Pass to Ojale. Over air on Gomez. And he's off from 17. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. Here's the floater. The shot comes out. Gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. To the paint. 
And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Defended by Jones. Out left to the wing. 58 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Pass to Vildoza from behind the arc. They get it again. And there's two. Work on the glass. Pay it off that time. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. To the wing, right side. Over to the left wing. From deep. The rebound by Vildoza. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think you got it right. The defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. He did enough to put this one away. Hard-fought battle, though. And so they get the victory here at home. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson.